Please take your sofas. This afternoon's performance is about to start. Please make use of the clapping emoji throughout the performance whenever you feel compelled to applaud. You're on mute! <laughs> Please do it yourselves. Please. Thank you. If your internet connection becomes unstable, that'll be a shame. The fire exits are located somewhere to the left, right, upstairs or downstairs, entirely depending on where you are. Please switch off all mobile phones. Unless you're watching this on it, in which case please do not turn off your mobile phone. If for any reason the live stream free zizz got you, <laughs> you can exit and join via the same link. But please remember, but <laughs> got you again.
different things for different people. For me, the beginning was Monday, the 14th of November, 1997. This was the day that my dad, Simon Weir, gave my mother, who was at the time Victoria Milton, way too much wine in order to give himself a much greater chance at seduction. I said I want to mentally scar myself for, you know, ever. I'll skip what actually happened that night, but I think we all get the point. Six weeks later, my mum gave my dad a heart attack, surprising him with a positive pregnancy test. And I suppose that's my beginning. Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm now 22. And this is the story of my chaotic family. It, it's just absolutely crazy. Can you hear me?
Can you hear that? One second, sorry about this. Guys, what's going on? Yeah, what are you saying? You right? No, I'm in the middle of a performance. Can we not? Oh, like now? Yeah, like now. Oh, sorry, I'm switching off. Yeah, so please don't play it. Sorry, man. Guys, I'm in the middle of a performance. But you mean now? Yeah, right like now. now. Now, now. Yeah. Oh, sorry, man. Just right. Please right. put the music back. Thank you. I'm so sorry about that, uh, flatmate. Um, so where was I? Oh, yeah, of course. Um, yeah, my Celtic family. So I'm from a family of 10. I know, 10 people, it's crazy. I have three brothers and four sisters of all different ages. There's my first sister, Marianne. She's now 21. Yeah, 21. And uh, wow, she's an interesting character. She has a lot of what people would say blonde moments. I know this one time, right? My gran had a problem where she had a double duvet mattress and she only had a single bed frame. So like, obviously it wouldn't fit, right? But my sister, the genius that she is, she walked in and said to her that she should cut the double mattress in half with a saw so that it would fit the single bed frame. Yeah, she didn't get the brains in her family, obviously. Uh, then there's my second sister, Amy. She's 18, studying at the University of Salford about animals and life and zoology and just everything. It's, it's so brilliant. Like, she's really, really smart. But imagine hearing about all this stuff, right? When your sister's going through what people would say an emo phase. Like, she's been stuck in this since high school, you know, when everyone's trying to be edgy and different. Um, so yeah, imagine like her talking to you about all these amazing things about science, why you've got um, Creep by Radiohead, you know, playing in the background over the top. Like, it's just so jarring, the two different worlds. She just ate mushrooms and mustard. Uh, um, anyway, we'll move on. Um, so that's my brother Lucas, who's 17 years old and is currently studying performing arts at Pontefract New College. He's the one that got the good looks in the family. He had all the girls left, right, and centre fighting over him. I never had that. Oh, anyway, um, he was also one of the popular kids in his year as well. He had tons of friends. I didn't really have that either. But anyway, um, oh, if you ever asked my brother how he would describe himself, he'd turn to you and go, with bare muscles in it. Like, honestly, I don't understand kids today. Why do they have to use word stuff like that? It, it just doesn't fit. Um, but anyway, that completes the first wave of my family. And we're going to start the second wave with my brother Colby, who is 14 years old and he's currently in high school. He also likes drama performing arts as well, and he thinks he's a bit of a stand-up comedian. He's always walking around the house telling you pointless jokes that aren't even funny or they just don't make sense at all. So there's this one time he came around and he, uh, he said, oh, what do you call a talking frog, Kermit? Like, what part of that is even a joke? It doesn't make any sense at all. You're in. You're in. Sorry, can I have some ham? Dude, I'm in the middle of a performance. Oh, hey, yo, can I have some ham? I, I don't have any ham. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll eat sweetie. Okay, just try and keep it down. Yeah. Um, so, continuing with the second. So, continuing on. Uh, on to my three little siblings. We have Isla, Ali, who are my two little sisters at six and four years old. And then there's... And then there's my brother Alfie, who's just one year old. This, despite them being the youngest in the family, they are definitely the ones that call all the shots. <sighs> so, for example, for the last two years, the only thing that goes on our TV is Scooby-Doo and Frozen. Over and over and over all the time. 
My two sisters watch Frozen that much, they know all the words to it. And my poor little brother Alfie, who can't even talk yet, when uh, Elsa's singing Let It Go, he makes little noises and stuff like that as if he's singing along. Like, even he's heard that way too much. Just because it's a fruit doesn't mean it's about a Simpsons movie. It's just not. Yeah, it's it just is. Not. Yeah, no, but so, so warm. One second, just give me one second. Where's the new? Ah. No, there we go. Um, sorry, where was I? Um, yes, my chaotic family. Wait, so are you That's... live now? Yeah, I'm live now. Oh, hello, what are you saying? My name is Jamie. Nice no. to meet you. Why are you putting your hand out? They can't shake your hand. No! 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 This is my performance! This is my performance! No! All right, now! Everyone out! Get out! Just get out! Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I believe that's the end of my story about my chaotic family. I bet you're thinking, wow, I bet he's glad he's moved somewhere quiet and he's not going to be disturbed all the time. <sighs> anyway, Caitlin, why don't we move on to you? Toilet rolls. What's the big deal with them? We have thousands upstairs, yet people still come in, buying loads, like it's going to protect them from the virus or something. Where in the government's announcement did it say, protect the NHS, buy loads of toilet rolls and be an arsehole while doing so, unless you know something I don't. No, I really do like this job, apart from the customers. And the hours. And maybe the managers as well, but I really do like it. Well, I've gotten through eight seasons of The Vampire Diaries for the seventh time, and I've watched The Money Highs four times, and I'm basically Spanish now, because obviously it's all in Spanish. What's the point of doing anything? What is the point of getting dressed and getting clothes dirty just to wash them? There's no point at all. Might as well just sit in, do nothing, and you don't even have to wash your hair. Who's going to see it? Masks. The compulsory, right? You wouldn't think that at Iceland. I understand people have disabilities and they can't wear them. That's fair enough. But a family of six, all not wearing one, all maybe having a disability, I very much doubt it. And the best bit is that people pull the masks down while I'm serving them at the till and lick the fingers while like getting a carrier bag. I don't say anything. I don't mind it. It's your own fault if you get it. Not my problem. But the worst bit is, is when they lick the fingers and then hand me a banknote. I say it straight out. I'm not taking it. I'm not risking my life to take your manky notes. I only get paid minimum wage. I don't get paid for this crap. But at least you're getting paid. Some people are out there on the breadline, not being able to afford things and losing their jobs due to this virus. It's ridiculous. And the government are saying we need to work together to fight it. Why don't they take a cut from the wages that they have? They must have enough money. Like many other companies have done that, like Leeds United, for example. They, the players took a cut in the wages so that the cleaners could be kept on. Only a small cut and obviously they're all fine with it. But why can't the people that lead us do that as well? Shouldn't we be following them? A face covering must be worn at all times. 
in and out of trading hours. Two metres must be obtained between two people. And we do not give change or love to shop vouchers. And to wash your hands, you count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Hi guys, sorry I'm late, I was just doing cocktails with the girls, again. <laughs> well, I can't stay long because I've got a quiz night with the family and it's my turn to host. And I'm giving it a bit of a personal touch this time. So there's going to be questions like, most rememberable moment, there is like first kiss, first love, when's my birthday, a number of sexual partners. It's going to be so lovely to see everybody. So yeah, hello, can you hear me? Oh, I think I've frozen, not again. This stupid internet. This connection. Are you, are you there? Welcome guys, welcome. Thanks for joining us today. I appreciate you all taking the time to be with us. I think we're all here. Yes. Okay, let's get started. Shall we begin with a bit of a check-in? Okay. I'll kick us off. My name is Emma. And I'm speaking to you today from Central Lee. So I go. My name's Casey, and I'm in a room. Hi, I am Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Are you all right, Sarah? There's a problem with the heat in here. It keeps going off. Oh, okay. Who's next? Hi, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? James, where are you? Hey, this is the best place for any Wi-Fi connection. Hannah, are you with us?
It's great to see you all, albeit virtually. I'd much rather see your smiling faces in person, but we can make the most of the time being. Sorry, Emma, what exactly is the purpose of this session? That is an excellent question, Casey. I'm glad you asked. Yeah, sorry. I missed last week. Not to worry. It's great to have you back. Yeah, great. Thanks. Guys, shall we do a recap? So for the past quiz, we've been doing different exercises to get to confuse and what their different exercises are. We've been performances, we've been looking at rash dash, we've been at standing and being counted. It's going to be so good. We're going to be doing all the different exercises that are really important. Like, I really do them really good. I really enjoy them. We've enjoyed the whole week so far. We've looked at the different ones.
dog went home. The silent star, Donald Trump was re-elected. The universe exploded. The table was broken. The packet was empty. The house set on fire and everything burned. All the time exploded into one. I stole the one. They reinvented the science. The mystery remained unsolved. Everyone exploded. The house fell down. The house was rebuilt. The speaker broke. They lay down their weapons. It was true. They formed a truce. We counted our dead. Everything returns to normal. Whatever that means.